Dirk, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like my warm welcome to our S-Class driving event here in Toronto. Every time I come back to Canada, I'm reminded of my very first trip to North America back in the mid-70s. A group of four of us, all college friends, flew into London, Ontario. We bought an old beater of a car that was mostly held together by duct tape and bedding wire. Believe me, that was no S-Class. We went for a nine-week, 20,000-kilometer road trip through Canada and the US. That car ran on gas. I think we ran on high-octane mix of junk food and Mosen beer. Of course, my nostalgia for a road trip nearly 40 years ago is not why we chose this location for our ride and drive program. The Trondra area has everything we need to showcase our new flagship. Great city and great scenic roads. Plus, Mercedes-Benz Canada achieved best all-time sales last year. That always helps getting my vote. So, this location is a perfect fit for our new S-Class. After all, our flagship model is the best-selling kind of segment, not just this year here in Canada, but in the world and for decades. More than half a million customers opted for the previous generation S-Class. In its final full year of sales in 2012, it was still the worldwide market leader among all luxury cars. <coughs> We are convinced our next generation flagship will further build on this success story and many share our confidence. By the end of June, we had already received more than 20,000 orders. It's no secret that these customers expect nothing less than the best luxury car in the world. And we set out to deliver just that. And our starting point was a simple question. What exactly defines automotive luxury today? Let me give you a brief summary of the answers we expressed in the new estimates. For starters, luxury is perception, of course. And in automobiles, that perception is first influenced by design. There are bigger cars than the S-Class. There are faster cars than the S-Class. There are surely more expensive cars than the S-Class. But one of the many things that sets the S-Class apart is a timeless appearance. I think it's fitting that our event room here is called Vinci. Because like this famous Leonardo da Vinci drawing, this car's first big strength is perfect proportions. That means it's supposed to look great for a very long time. Da Vinci's human would still be a candidate for a men's health magazine cover, pretty good for a 500-year-old senior citizen. Likewise, we set out to give the S-Class a timeless design that could make for a beautiful car magazine cover even 500 years from now. For that end, the body design combines aesthetic proportions with sensuous purity. There's no need to tell you that truly beautiful form also provides function. With a drag coefficient of 0.24, the S-Class is the world's most aerodynamic luxury sedan. This saves fuel while ensuring that wind noise is virtually not existing inside the car. And the interior is equally coherent with premium materials and exquisite details. For example, anything that looks like metal is metal and anything that feels like leather is leather. In our view, that marks the difference between a good work and a masterpiece. Next, luxury is very much about true comfort. For example, by the time you head back to the airport, you will not only have driven our new flagship, but also experience it from the premium seats in the back. That's important. Usually, I tell automotive journalists that driving is bleeding. This time, it's also about being driven, because we developed this car very much with both perspectives in mind. New S-Class offers several reclining seat variants, as well as an already famous massage function with a hot stone setting. One American writer put it this way, 
The hot stone massage in the S-Class feels as if somebody is poking you with warm snooker balls. I'm not sure just how much that comment is open to further interpretation. From my personal experience, I can tell you, even getting work done in this car can be a joy. We did all you need to turn the S-Class into a highly comfortable office on wheels. Internet access with a dedicated hotspot, an integrated work table, and the capability to have your text messages and emails read aloud to you. Maybe even before the NSA gets to them. Of course, there's no better proof point than comfortable driving. That's why we equipped the S-Class with another world first. We call it Magic Body Control. It's the first chassis system to anticipate the road ahead because the car can see. Don't worry, it doesn't peek inside the car. Magic body control recognizes irregularities on the road surface with the help of a stereo camera. It then adapts the suspension accordingly in fractions of a second. Of course, first class comfort is already guaranteed by the standard running gear, a further iteration of our automatic air suspension. There are many more options available on the shopping list for the new S-Class. That's a good thing, because in the automotive world today, luxury is also about choice. And the most important choice is the engine. In its very first sales year, our portfolio of four drive variants will meet virtually all customer demands with a potent V8 gas engine, an incredibly gutsy V6 diesel, plus a gas and diesel electric hybrid. All in all, the new S-Class improved fuel efficiency by up to 20% in comparison to the respective predecessors. Here in North America, the main S-Class engine has to be the top power V8 unit. With 455 horsepower, it offers plenty of refined acceleration <coughs> combined with relatively modest fuel consumption. For our customers in Europe and Asia, for example, we got the S400 hybrid generates more than 300 horsepower, yet its fuel consumption figure has a six in front of the decimal point. The V6 diesel in the S350 Bluetech may also not play a role in America. Still, I'd like to underline, it nearly has the power of a Canadian Grizzly. When it comes to fuel efficiency, on the other hand, its appetite is more like of a squirrel. Still, we'll go that, got that one better. At the Frankfurt Auto Show in September, we will unveil the S500 plug-in hybrid. It will demonstrate just how much luxury can be moved with so little gas. Looking forward, it's clear that sheer size or power are not enough to win over demanding customers. Luxury is also about intelligence. That's why the best car in the world must also be the smartest. You know that accident-free driving is one of our most important objectives. And with its over 20 intelligent assistant systems, the new S-Class takes a giant step closer to this goal. Let's take just one example. Our Night View Assist, which we have further developed and enhanced with an infrared camera. The third generation Night View system can, for the first time, identify both people and animals in the critical zone in front of the vehicle. If this occurs at speeds of more than 27 to 37 miles per hour, the dashboard display automatically switches from speedometer to a brilliant night view image. It highlights pedestrians and animals in color. The system also reacts differently to people and animals. A person will be flashed by a spotlight function several times as a warning. On the other hand, horses, cows, and, of course, elks are intentionally not illuminated because their reaction to light is unpredictable. As I said, the new night view function is just one of the more than 20 active assistance systems. They all work together to help ensure that you may never need to experience the passive safety equipment in the S-Class. We have put the entire package of this complex technology under one convenient name, Mercedes-Benz Intelligent Drive. And that intelligence not only makes the S-Class safer, it's also paving the way to autonomous, to autonomous driving. In the new S-Class, 
we are moving it towards serious production thanks in large part to the combination of the new stereo camera with a large number of sensors from radar, radar to ultrasound. A simpler way to think about this is that our new flagship <coughs> has six eyes and six ears. It may sound like Frankenstein's monster, but it's considerably better looking. We call this principle sensor fusion. The result is a car with 360 degree vision. And the benefit for the customer is that he can receive active support from his vehicle in every driving situation. This comes, for instance, from systems like Distronic Plus with steering assist and stop and go pilot. When you want it to, S Class can automatically follow the vehicle in front of you in stop and go traffic at speeds of up to 60 km per hour. It can brake, accelerate and maintain direction. This delivers an enormous benefit in safety and comfort. It can reduce the number of rear collisions and fender benders, and it may also dramatically lower your rush hour blood pressure. You'll find out how well it works in real world conditions. We selected test routes specifically to enable you to experience it. The regulatory approval for completely autonomous driving won't happen overnight, but the technology is ready that's why we are working closely with lawmakers on this issue. Ladies and gentlemen, we are more than eager to hear your views on the all-new S-Class, especially on an issue that has already been hotly discussed at Mercedes. Is the best seat in the back enjoying all the comfort, or is the best seat in the front? Because you get to try. Either way, we think you'll discover this S-Class takes a backseat to no other car. Today is your opportunity to try it on a Canadian road trip of your own. And you don't need to worry about the menus. In contrast to my college trip through Canada, we'll not just be serving Monson beer and junk food today.